doubles and hurricanes, like I said, coming up Wednesday. I talked with Jim Laranega here on ACC Live about the game that night. We asked people last week, who's the best point guard in the ACC? Of course, Lorenzo Brown won, but a lot of people said Shane Larkin and Quinn Cook, the two guys going to battle, and oh, they're both great. Oh, they're two good ones, Jeff. You know, we get a chance to see the two of the premier point guards in the conference match up and do work. And right, Quinn Cook has been fabulous. Last year, Duke had a problem at the point guard position. This was a c question for Coach K going into the season. Yeah, absolutely, he solidified it. And, 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 for, and for Shane Larkin, we know about the quickest feet in the ACC, oh, yeah. but his his a big thing that he's improved on has been his leadership. Last year, the team was more Duran Scott's. This year, he's putting the team on his shoulder, and he's running the show. Absolutely. Another impressive matchup we're looking forward to. Of course, we know all about Mason Plumley. The double doubles, potentially the player of the year. Now, who has to go up against him? It's Julian Gamble, who's looked great. Coming off the bench, now a starter with Reggie Johnson out. Absolutely. He's done a fabulous job, but he's going to have his hands full with big man inside. Player of the year candidate, as you mentioned. I like his motor. He comes to play. His shot might be off, but he's going to give you effort every single night. And Julian Gamble is the same type of guy. Might not have the same skill set, but he brings energy. He finishes at the rim. He creates uh, foul opportunities, and he's a great weak side defender. By the way, I want to get in one note. This morning we heard that Reggie Johnson did start working out with the team. He's had the broken finger, and uh, they do hope to get him back sometime soon, but it's good to hear he's getting it back on the floor at least. Yes. All right, the other big man for the Canes, causing all kinds of problems for everyone, Kenny Kaji. And if Duke doesn't have Ryan Kelly, we know he's gone for at least another couple weeks. How does Coach K find a matchup for Kenny Kaji? Oh, that's the million-dollar question, Jeff. Uh, it's just such big fields to choose the field with uh, Kelly being out. But Kenny Kaji, it just gives you everything. He's a tremendous low post player. He spots up to three. He can give you scoring from the elbow. He can penetrate off the drive and find key players. And he's a magnificent offensive rebounder. Uh, Mill Jefferson, uh, maybe, maybe Marshall Pumley gets opportunity to play, but they're going to have the work cut out for him. Yeah, absolutely.